we just don't know the long-term side effects of, of basically modifying people's um, DNA and RNA. DNA is inherent in your own nucleus cell. We just don't know the long-term side effects of, of basically modifying people. Last week, Facebook announced they are, quote, expanding their efforts to remove false claims on Facebook and Instagram about COVID-19 vaccines. Let's take a look at Facebook's most updated COVID-19 vaccine policy. The real kicker is right here in the policy where Facebook says it would remove any content that, quote, claims the COVID-19 vaccine changes people's DNA. Well, we just got a new leaked tape from Zuckerberg himself, the CEO of Facebook, basically violating his own code of conduct. He would be censored on the platform today for what he said. I share some caution on this because um, we just don't know the long-term side effects of, of basically modifying people's um, DNA and RNA. So when Zuckerberg said, quote, basically the vaccine is modifying people's DNA, it seems pretty clear modifying is synonymous with changing. Again, Zuckerberg would be banned from Facebook for saying this. This video of me showing the CEO of Facebook talking might be banned, but then Zuckerberg on November 30th in a public live stream Q&A appears to somewhat change his tune. I mean, my understanding is that these vaccines do not modify your DNA or, or RNA. No. Uh, first of all, DNA is inherent in your own nucleus cell. Sticking in anything foreign will ultimately get clear. Well, I'm glad we, we, can, we can clear that up. Yeah, I'm glad we could clear that up. Isn't it interesting that Zuckerberg can vastly involve his thinking on the subject of vaccines? As soon as he's made up his mind or appears to have made up his mind on the topic, he disallows the almost 3 billion Facebook users to do the same. Rules for thee, but not for me. Seems a little bit hypocritical, don't you think? What happened to free speech? And who is on this Facebook oversight board? Who makes all of their policy decisions? It's not that the insider is betraying Mark Zuckerberg. It's that Mark Zuckerberg is betraying what Facebook ought to stand for. We would know none of this, but not for the fact that we have a brave Facebook insider. Be brave. Do something.